Hello guys, all Mr. Lifted here, and today we're going to build this beautiful wooden house. Now, if you slap that like button, subscribe, it lets me know that you want more houses like this, so definitely do that. And yeah, so just hit that like button, go on, yeah, yeah, hit it in the face, hit it in the face, man. Uh, and if you wait all the way to the end, I will show you on the inside what we have done. There's some exciting things on the inside. I think you will really love it for your survival world. So, I've got a little log cabin thing here to keep all your logs and hay. So without further ado, let's build this beautiful house. Right guys, so let's do this. As you can see, we've got our plant started out. All the things you'll need is in here kind of thing. We're gonna get some more stuff, but it's sprucing up pretty much. We will start off with the oak wood. We're gonna count up one, two, and count one, two, three spaces on this fourth one. Count one, two, one, two, three spaces, one, two, one, two, three spaces, one, two. Now we're gonna go around to the right hand side, one, two, three spaces. We'll count up one, two here. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Now these are going to go up higher, but you kind of get the idea. So in between all these, we're going to fill this in. We're going to fill this all the way along three stripes. And then on the outside, we're going to get our spruce stairs like this. So upside down, we're going to put it up for this one. And now we're going to put them this way for this one, because obviously this is going to be the way up this across here and this across here so we've got a balcony farming we can actually put these in now with our oak fences just to kind of fence it off obviously not across that bit across here and across here i'm going to count up one maybe two maybe two let's do two yeah yolo so we'll get two of these going up and uh, like that so this is going to be kind of the big part here and then this part is going to be the small so we start on the right hand side and from this log here, we're going to go diagonal and then place one and then one, two, three. And then from this block here, right here, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're going to do two extra strips at twelve length. Now we're going to get our oak wood. We're going to count up one, two, one, two. We're going to count one, two, three space, one, two. One, two, three, four space, one, two. So there should be a three space there, a four space there. And we can fill the four space in for obviously that. And we'll put upside down stairs for either side because you guessed it, it's for the extra little balcony. So we'll put this across now, put this across there. Obviously we will keep that open for our thing across there. And now this bit is going to be up extra. So we'll put one, two, three extra on top. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just so we can kind of work with this bit. Now on the inside here, we're gonna count from here. One, two, three gaps on the fourth. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces on the eighth. One, two, three, four, five. Now we go all the way across here. And then we place it here so it's in line with here so it should all line up one two three four five all together it's coming along nicely it's coming along real nice so now we're going to get our oak planks we're going to fill that bit along there we're going to fill this bit along here as well all the way along and counting from this from the back as you can see where we are at the moment we're going to count one two three four on the fifth one we're going to put a, a log here we're going to count one two three a log one two one two three so there's a two gap here this is going to be another staircase you can either have it from this side or we can have it from this side so i'm going to have it that side and we're going to put upside down stairs for the other just like that we can actually bring these up to two in fact which is no problemo and then fill this in just about there and that is going to be the side. We're going to fill this bit in here, these three, because this is going to be the floorboards in here. So we're going to fill all this in across here. This is all going to be filled in. This is all going to be filled in as well. All that's going to be filled in all the way across. As you can see, these are going to be the wall bits here. And then on this side in this big room here now, we are going to build this up. We can just put that all the way across now. All the way across. That's all the way across with the oak wood. I just put that marker there so I kind of know where the door is. We can leave that open. 
put this across because there's going to be a window there and that's going to be across and then we are going to do this so it lines up with those logs one two three four five so it lines up with them we're going to fill this with oak going across and as you can see from this side we're going to count one two on the third one we're going to put a log and then from this side one two on the third we put a log that's going to be kind of like uh, something else an outhouse or something so we're going to build this up now all the way across and round in fact i kind of want to do this as a log get this log log there so obviously we've got the free space for the windows here free space for the windows here and uh yeah so i'm going to do it this high i'm going to put this along here this along here and we can build this wall up we can fill all this wall in just get that all filled in and uh, we can always take out some windows after which is no problem i kind of like to uh do all this and then put the detail in after but we'll keep it simple for now but i promise you it's not going to stay simple definitely not so we'll put that across here this is obviously going to be our doorway up we can put two strips here and then that for the doorway we're going to do something with the doorway to make it a little bit more interesting rather than that that's going across there we've got these coming up so it's kind of a simple out the back we can have it do this as well just make it a little bit more interesting maybe make it poke out a window but we'll, we'll do that later we'll do that later doesn't matter now so we'll put this across here this across here what we can do as well if you wanted to if you didn't like the logs there we can do this for this window make it a bit more interesting with the trapdoors there and then we can actually get a half slab of the oak of the oak put that across there we can actually do this where we can have those in like that so it's kind of like a high window maybe get something on top like that you know it's all personal preference preference and speak come on it's all personal preference and then we uh, get this in we can even have if you didn't want those you could just have fences up there instead you know there's, there's different options different options that you can use I'm gonna fill these windows in now with the glass panes if you don't want to use the glass panes you can just use the full panes it's entirely up to you and uh, yeah kind of a uh, let's see if we can do this so it looks a bit a bit better like that we could have it like that we could have just the one log coming out there with that on top there's so many different options but for now I'm gonna keep it maybe like that at the back it doesn't matter so much so this is going across here now we're gonna get this out going all the way across all the way across to here this is gonna go all the way across all the way across all the way across okay so I'm gonna use the slabs here we're gonna get this slab and we're gonna run it all the way across here and then might do it another time and then put it up like that and then another one up so it meets like that so we put this all the way across and then obviously bring this one across as well I'm gonna speed it up for filling in the floor so all this floor here this this door is actually gonna be higher to be honest because I've just thought because the floors actually higher so it would have to be something like this wouldn't it um, so the floors at this level obviously it made the windows less funny so we're gonna fill all that in fill all this in fill that in as well I'll speed it up for filling all that in but on the outside here we're gonna have to have like um, maybe this going across here this up maybe we could get some oak logs in there as well make it a bit different you know get something like that and then a little thing across there or something or bring it out a bit more we can actually I'll just give you some different options you know so you, you're not stuck with the same old stuff put that across there you could maybe put um, a log coming out from there and then 
just the one here with a stair facing out like that which might look quite pretty yeah that looks quite nice quite grand and we can obviously put this here this here and then just the one slab there would make that a hell of a lot better i mean even if you wanted to do something like this and then just like get some fences up there get some spruce fence and you don't get this in many tutorials like different combinations but i kind of like how that came out so we're going to stick with that so this side now this we're going to build up one two three four five so five all together there five on that five on that okay we can bring that up we can bring these up we'll leave this here and we'll do this one up this will be just a plain log going across here this will be plain going across here as well and then we are going to have this log up we're going to leave those logs there and then this can be plain just like that that's yeah that's nice kind of like it so we fill this one in as well this one can go all the way across i'll speed it up and fill the inside as well now right so once we've got, got both of the floors we are going to fill this in we'll fill this to the top this to the top i mean if you want a window that's poking through because this will be going through to both houses we could do something like this maybe on one side you'll have it like that and maybe this up top just to add a bit more detail maybe put it lower down there but at this side so you've got a bit of detail through here you could put it on this side there so it's giving detail to both of the walls but in different ways so we'll put this across now so we've got our doorway if you want a different kind of archway into it then you're more than welcome to do that so we're gonna find a way that we can do this right one two three because we're gonna have a window here we could maybe just maybe put this across along one two three on the fourth one up along now i kind of want to do this bring these up to remove this and then bring it up from this angle and then we've got the three space there for our window just to keep it kind of fair uh, symmetric so we put half slab there across there put half slab across that one we've got a two doorway in here that's far too low far too low that going there and um, yeah we'll fill these windows in i kind of want something like in fact want to cut that up i want a bit better color into it so we'll get a bit of the spruce in there instead that's what it's all about just kind of changing it up could get this across like that nice little archway and then it means we can add some spruce fence in here one two one two and then for the door i am spruce I kind of like the spruce it's got that sort of survival cabin sort of feel to it that's nice and we're gonna work on the roof now so we get this going across here across the top and this is gonna go across one more and then we are going to build this up so we're gonna use the oak fences we're gonna put this up by one by one by one we can do it up higher but i kind of want it low i kind of like it low um yeah we'll put it low here so it goes up should touch the wall there and then we can do the next level just stepping up slightly so you've kind of got that transition into it looks quite nice we can even have a an overhang here so um, just might make it look a little bit better um yeah that's quite nice it's got that nice uh, cozy feel I love freestyling these, absolutely love it. Le, le, le. And put that across there and this across here. And then, yeah, we'll do the same so we um, get that little bit of contrast of colouring. Get that across there, that across there. Might even get the contrast across the top here as well so it kind of lines in. That's kind of nice, kind of like it. Kind of like it a lot. 
this in here we can have that there we can even have that as the oak doesn't matter we can change it up get the oak there obviously we're gonna need our spruce stars out get the oak there spruce star from the inside I always like to make it look better on the outside you can always add a bit of definition so it's into the wall there that's nice we can get some bushes and stuff around there that will make that look pretty and um, yeah I'm wanting to raise this up one two three four five one two three four five and this side one two three four five here as well one two three four five now uh, we'll start doing the roof I'm gonna do the roof coming out from here we go all the way across I'll do a plain roof and then later on I will add a little bit of detail into that roof just so it looks a little bit better we put this going all the way across and we're just going to basically follow this pattern where we're going one underneath one over one underneath one over and we do it the same side until it meets in the middle and then we are going to join them all together by going across like that so i'm going to speed this roof up i'm sure you guys can do that so the same on this side going under under turn under you know the score right so i'll speed this up Right, so once we're done we should have something that looks like this what I've done is I've run a um, oak log going all the way through you don't have to if you wanted to just put just the one there and then cover the rest in wood to save on wood you can do that and then all I've done is put half slab all the way across and then turn the stairs in on each side for the peak of the roof now we'll work on this smaller roof we're just gonna get our log going all the way across our spruce even gonna overlap there and then we're gonna start from this and underneath here as well so we're gonna go underneath we're gonna do exactly the same but it's gonna stop at this roof here so it should join onto there and uh, it doesn't matter anyway because we're gonna overhang this we can even overhang this like one extra just like that at the back and then we can actually take these up now one two one two one two and uh, the same for this one they're quite tricky these sometimes can be quite tricky and then we're going to run this all the way across we can actually just do it from here just fill that little bit there that looks quite nice got a nice overhang yeah kind of liking that we can we can deal with that so we're going to do the same thing with this roof under under over until it joins at the top obviously this will be flush with this wall so you don't have to do the under over thing you can do I guess from the inside like from here but people are gonna I guess people will see a little bit from the inside so I guess we'll ever float your boat so I'll speed this up Right, so you should have this and as you can see I've just put the slab across and then I put the turn the stair with the log going through like I did for the other roof. So now we're going to fill this in. We can kind of fill it all in and then we can work on kind of what we can do after. Uh, fill all this in. I'm just going to fill it to the top. If you wait for me I'll show you where you can put the holes and then you can kind of build from there. Um, so fill all this in. Right, I'm going to work out where I'm going to put the windows. And the holes and stuff I kind of don't want them symmetric maybe one of them one at the top there that's going to be symmetric which I am going to put wooden trapdoors just to make it look quite nice wooden trapdoors there and this kind of kind of want to put one here and maybe one across yeah yeah we'll do it like that and then what I'm going to do for this one is we're going to put this either side. We're going to get our oak, oak slab. 
And then I kind of like to use the spruce with this one, just to kind of make it a little bit nicer. Get that contrast in there. Not going across, we could do it in the white. We can actually do it in the spruce as well. So it's entirely up to you. You can kind of mess around with that sort of ideas. We can obviously fill that in. Fill this in across here. We can have a grass block or dirt block if you're in survival. If you want it to travel up, you just like let it spread. Wait a little while. So we can put this underneath. We'll put two slabs here. And then we are going to get the trapdoors. One, two, three, four. And then you can put some flowers there and stuff. Make it look nice. If you want to make it look a bit more rustic, run down. You can have bits taken out of it. And, you know, kind of take little bits out here and there just so it's not as kind of clean. But if you like the clean look, then just don't do it, man. Don't do it. Your OCD will kill you, literally. So for the OCD people out there, because I'm kind, I'm just going to be nice about it, okay? Right, so <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get the oak. We're going to put up from here and from here. I kind of want a little archway going into this for some reason. YOLO, do you know what I mean? YOLO. Put this little arch there, that little arch there. I'm gonna put this on the top. Put these little creamy bits in. Get a bit of cream in. And then put this across. This across here. And then we can put this across here. Now we can obviously fill these bits in. That's just for underneath. Can you get that little look as you come in? We can add like a little extra up here. You can just put that there instead doesn't matter you can kind of work with it we'll get some of the oak as we're coming in there it's just kind of making difference sort of you can have that as well make it a bit more grand you know there's so much you can do so we'll, we'll get the spruce door on that get that in there so we're going to do these windows now um i'm going to put this across here but obviously you're going to have some bushes going around this trim so it doesn't matter so much yeah, we'll get that across there and then we get this going across here. I want the low windows again, tying in with the other side, matching it all in. Get this across. We've got to work out what we're going to put up across the top as well. But once we get some bushes in here, it's going to look really nice. And this across the top here, I mean, we could just fill it in like that. We, we get some light glitches in as well by putting the, the stairs in there. That looks nice. Obviously, we're going to have this coming up to the top so we can fill all this in now and um, I'll speed it up and fill this whole lot in I will fill this side in as well and then if you guys wait I'll show you where I'm gonna put the windows and stuff okay speed up Right, so we should have both of those sides done. So what I'm going to do from here, we count up one, two, three, one, we get the third one here, as you can see. In fact, I'll put it up so it's two. So as you can see, it'd be counting one, two from here. And you've got that sort of space there. Have a window there. Have a window right at the top. I'm going to make it three high. In fact, it'd be two from there and then three from there. And I kind of want to put this across and then we can fill these in, get this across here, that across there. I wonder what it'll look like with just that going underneath as well. It could look all right, could look all right. Right, so we'll get that going to the top, that going to the top here, and then we can get these going across here. I mean, we can turn them in as well. We can get them turned a little bit. Turn down for what? And then... <laughs> hey, hey. Turn down for what? Hit the music, maestro. I probably haven't edited that in, so it's fine. fine. It's too much editing. Too much editing. This video is long, man. Why are you giving yourself work? I don't know. I don't know. Why am, why am I giving myself more, more work? I'm dying. I'm dying inside. Help me. And then <laughs> we'll fill, the, fill this in. Once we get some vines and stuff in this, it's gonna look fancy. It's gonna look real nice. But that's so far, oh my God. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? So we're gonna put this up five. One, two, three, four, five. 
and then at this side one two three four five and I kind of want to put this along the top here and then down again I might do this as like a different sort of I might do this as just stairs going down there's no we'll get the two lots of stairs and then we'll start to bring it out more so put that no that's going underneath definitely so get that going underneath one two that going across here and then that's going to be going across but we're going to have two that's two here and then we've got another two strips here until eventually eventually we can put some stumps underneath perfect put some stumps underneath that one in fact i might bring it in a little bit bring it in so we've got an overlap of one and then we can bring the last layer down and bring it there obviously we're going to put this in i don't know what i was going to do for this i thought it could be kind of like a side log cabin thing do you know like where you'd have like rows of logs and stuff um, a little wood wood yard I don't know I think it will look quite nice obviously this is uh, it's a lot of resources but it's gonna look nice you could get some hay down here as well get some hay going down it's entirely up to you you know it's uh, the only limit is your imagination so we've got some logs there that's quite nice kind of like that we can even get some bales of hay my favorite get some bales around here get some bales stuck in there and there and stuff kind of randomize it get them scattered about and stuff and uh, at the back we're obviously gonna have to work on a window at the back but at the same time do we need to should we just leave it open I don't know that is a question for another day so fill this across here going slightly mental it's fine now these long videos they do take it out of you hell yeah they really do like emotionally exhausting and then put this across and down and uh let's let's figure out what sort of windows we want i kind of want to do this um don't ask why i don't know i just i just think it'll look all right put that across there put this across here as well and then we can get some oak there oak there and we can have we can have two windows or we can have this one as kind of a half stair there half stair there we can have like a small window there so this going across here I kind of want to get that spruce out again so we can maybe I'm not promising we're gonna do this one of thrown out some options there I kind of like that but at the same time just no okay so we'll put this across here we can have that across there we can even have this going across here just to make that sort of barn barn, barn house window majiggy thing make, just make it look nice okay and then um, have this going across here just to kind of cut it up you know Oh, oh, you're so minimal. I want to kiss you. And then put this across. I'm just, I'm just going with the flow, man. Just going with the flow of it. Get some strips up here as well. This is all extra wood. You don't have to do this bit. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to. But it kind of adds to that sort of rustic look. So we'll do the same here. We'll do the same for the front as well. I think that turned out all right. So we'll get these. We get this window going across here. We have did have one there, didn't we? And then one up here. In fact, we'll do something different for this one. So it kind of matches in with the rest. Put that one there. That across. So we've got the windows all on the same kind of thing. I want to have a look from a distance. Oh, 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 oh. Looking kind of pretty. 
kind of want to kiss you right now. And then we put this across. And then we put one underneath. I don't know. We'll put that across here. And then we can actually double up on these. We can double it up. It's cool, man. Get that doubled. Double bubble. We can get some plants up there, some plant pots. We can get these coming down. We can get some fancy plants just to make it kind of look nice. And then we've got kind of, oh, I really like that. That's, that is beautiful. My goodness me, oh yeah, I forgot one bit. We can actually do this bit here as a door or a window. So it's entirely up to you. Do you want a door going through there? Do you want a door, just stick a door on. If you want a window, I would do something like this. Maybe put that across there and then just one, two. Kind of nice that it's a window. Kind of like it's a window. Window is good. And uh, up the side here, we can actually put a chimney. Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Who cares anymore? Right, so we put this up. We could even double thickness it. So this is coming out here. And I want to see what it looks like. One, two, three from that roof level when it comes up. So in between here be one, two, and then it'd be coming down from there. So I'm gonna thicken this bad boy up a little bit. So from here, maybe one more. So from here, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna get some cobblestone stairs. I'll put this up so it's going to the top. And for the very, very top, we can either get some cobblestone, put the cobblestone on, or we can put um, an anvil on there. But I think that looks quite nice. If you want to cut this up, now I would do this to make it look a little bit better. Is take little bits out of it. It's just completely random, just to kind of give it a better rustic look. If you're in survival, obviously you might not have some mossy cobblestone. But you can kind of use that, get some of that in, maybe to go down there but we can kind of leave this maybe we want a side window here it's not very important kind of randomly placed we can have one there one up here and then we can actually fill that underneath there obviously we wouldn't have that there we we'll bring this down more we can even add more detail in there and get some of the spruce fence spruce fence we'll only put it up to here Get it on there, on there, on there. It's entirely up to you guys kind of thing. Get that up and it's time to add the vines and make it look oh, perfection. So I probably put maybe a vine starting from here, coming down from here. We're definitely gonna get a little bit of vine maybe coming up here. Just get a nice strip coming down from there, maybe, maybe. Maybe another shot one there. We get some bush going underneath here. As I said, we're gonna get that bush going underneath. Get that to there. That's looking nice. I mean, if you want it more of a rustic kind of coming up the building, you can have it like that. So it's coming out and slowly, gradually making its way up the building, you know? We place them there. Get some underneath here as well. You can bring it around here as well and just fatten it up if you would like. If that's what you would like to do and get it spread up. It's kind of just random, but kind of random order. Trying to get it how you would like it. You can actually take bits out of the roof, make it more rustic by putting grass blocks on the roof and putting some other stuff in there, um, some bone meal. You get some up here or something, get some vines coming down here. As I say, completely optional, random. Get some random bushes that have made their way up there. Um, get this, just curling round kind of thing. Do you know? Maybe you've had some that's curled round from in here. It's come down from the floor. There's just so many options that you can do. And uh, yeah, let's go inside now. I'm going to keep it really simple on the inside so you guys can add your own touch to it. 
So don't be asking me for a tutorial for the inside because, yeah, I want to see you guys kind of do it because once you've got someone who's done the whole build for you, what does that leave for you? It doesn't leave any inspiration. So for this one, because it's a long video as well, I'm not going to, but I'm just going to give you some levels so you can get some floorboards coming from here and stuff like fill this all the way in. You can have this going across here you know underneath the windows and then I'll show you where you can put some stairs and stuff and then uh, yeah so you could have some stairs coming from I'd say from about here because you don't want it cutting into the door so again I'm coming up from here hopefully this should work and uh, get you high enough come on bro you can do this perfect and then that going across there and then you just wiggle it round until you can just get through so can I get another one on there no I can't so get like that in fill this across here we could maybe have this as an attic bedroom or something that could be quite nice um, that across there obviously fill this bit in and let's go down this could be like a kitchen area so we could get some kitchen going on in here you could have a storeroom in here and I would probably, I'd probably get a door on, actually. Vital. Um, let's see. We could have it coming up from here. We could have one, two, three, making sure it's dead center with everything. So that's like one from the door. One, two, three. And then one, two going up. Three three like that and then put this across here this across here and then start to get these going up here from both sides kind of a different um, design something different for your staircase going up this way and then you can kind of divide the walls up by uh, oak wood underrated underrated is the oak wood get this going to the top we could even have three levels you don't have to do it from the top there but yeah just remember you don't have to do all this you don't have to add all these resources you can take out as much as you want and as less as you want just can't can't try and use a little bit of imagination for it i mean across here we could because it's quite funny there we could use it as like a floorboard going across so that's part of like the the roof paneling and also you'll get that sort of roof lat look underneath which is quite nice you can even do it for these as well you know um get these going across it meets to the other side and then you will have that sort of um rustic kind of pine i don't i'm making this stuff up as i go along but hopefully it sounds really really intellectual and nice <laughs> No, what, you, you get these little beams, basically, kind of like half beams underneath. Also, another way to achieve that is by getting stairs like that. And you get it kind of like that sort of beam look. But yeah, we'll fill this in. Fill that in, and we'll fill that in. Yeah, so we're obviously going to need some railings um, for up here. This could be a bedroom or something. If this goes across here, and hopefully we should be able to still get underneath it here please oh you son of a there we go perfect <sighs> i hate you god damn it and then uh we'll put another one here because this is where the railing's going to go so it'll look less funny i think on the inside since so we're using a lot of spruce we'll use some oak to kind of change it up a little bit we'll put another one here at the side and here and obviously fill that little thing in so as you can see I'd say get another floor here at this level. So you've got an attic here. You could just keep loads of storage up here, which would be quite nice. And uh, I'll show you another way to get a staircase up to this one as well. And uh, you can fatten up and kind of put detail into the windows as well from the inside. Like if you wanted at the top of here to kind of make it, I don't know, a bit more bulky, a bit less flat against the wall. If you don't mind using the resources it's always nice to add that little bit extra in and that's looking nice we can have another staircase maybe starting from this window here one two 
one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Perfect. So we can fill this across, this across here, and then obviously we'll get our railings to kind of rail it in. And just enough room so we can kind of get through. And there we go. So obviously we get the railings going around here. I'll speed it up real quickly. I'll fill this top floor. Right, so once you've done the top attic here, um, do you know what? Screw it. Um, I'm going to give you something. Can't just leave you like this. We'll give you a little bed design or something. Um, let's get let's get a backboard as well. We'll just get that going across there. We'll get a bed. One, two, three beds. Three in the bed and a little one said. Roll the hell over, you fat cow. <laughs> I'm getting so tired, man. I'm getting so tired. Right, so then we could put this up. We could have like, I don't know, a little fancy uh, thing here. And with a little uh, light in here or something. Oh, we could even break out here so we could have like... Um, one at the top, a window at the top that just kind of looks out. Could even have it from here, you know. Um, fill it in here. We'll get the glass, obviously, as well. Fill that at the top. And then fill this in. Let's have a look. Just lets a little extra light in, you know. And then we can actually run these pillars up to the top. Started at the top and now we're here. To the top there we can actually put it in the spruce or whatever you'd like you can have the spruce fences there or the other fences you can even have this going across so it kind of like gives it that sort of royal look up there changes the ceiling and then it would mean you could get like i don't know a glowstone or something where are you glowstone i'm totally looking in the wrong area i've been doing this for hours man and there you should get some light glitches coming through from that and uh, yeah we can uh, add some chests and stuff down there we've got this room here obviously we can add some torches too here very nice very nice get that lit up we can have some uh, posters on the walls maybe and uh, yeah so there you go guys really hope you enjoy i'm gonna actually fatten this up there in there so it'd be like the equivalent to two blocks two blocks man and then we've got a little hiding place behind here i mean if you just want to kind of uh, have like a hidden place here you could fill this in have it hidden away from the world hide your secret chests in there and uh yeah across the doorways we can have something like that make it nice we can even get some inside windows not that you'd need them but it's all like little extras. You can even put that across there if you don't want that just plain. And uh, yeah, you can do, you can kind of like make it more cozy. The more detail you want to add, you know, you can. That's, that's not detail, that's touches. You can have these going up to here. And then obviously they'd need a, a slab there. That going up to here. Get the slab on. We could even get these torches here and then behind here we can have like an extra one going from here get that slab on extra one from here get that slab on we can have some fence running down this bit kind of trips it up oh very nice we can have some coming across this bit here with just the one coming down just the one from there because you can still get through from the other side it's all about like uh, and even get some from here put it across the top bring it out here maybe join it in that's it's just so so much you can do and add some furnaces get some furnaces in here get some furnaces all the way across there or something this is for people just cannot think of doing anything uh, crafting table that good that and just kind of like a little shelf or something little shelf in this corner to here maybe 
and it goes down like that. We've got a brewing stand, we've got a crafting table that we could put somewhere. We have a crafting table at the back here. Brewing, we've got a chest, chest on there. And yeah, you can get some couches in here as well. Kind of red and some quartz, just whatever you like, you know. Kind of uh, mix it up a little bit. Get some weird couches that are coming in here, which would mean you'd just take away from that. Just kind of add in little bits into it, get a big corner couch or something. I don't know. Oh my God, you can get a carpet in here. A nice orange carpet, because we all know that orange and red go together horribly. So I'm gonna do that for because it's, it's horrible. And uh, yeah. We can have some more storage room up here. We can even dig down and make an enchantment place. You can have an enchantment place at the top. You can get some anvils as well if you want to make it a bit more grand and you have like stuff, stuff to spare. Um, you can do some stuff underneath there. You can divide up the walls, make some different walls going up to divide the room up. Um, I don't know, maybe anvil here going up three. Kind of cuts the room up a little bit. Maybe one at the back as well, going up at the top. So it's just simple sort of things you can do. We can actually do them outside as well. You could even have uh, some for the grand entrance. As people building, not across there. And there you have it, guys. A beautiful rustic house. If you wanted to add any extra detail and you're in creative, you obviously get a little bit of smoke coming out or something. You know, something like that. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoy this. It's taken me a while. It's make sure you slap that like button, subscribe. I've actually just done this one as well. That's tiny cabin. This is a really small, tiny one, which is beautiful. So if you want more builds like this, which there's loads more coming, make sure you slap that like button, subscribe. I post every, every single goddamn day with a new tutorial for you guys to learn from. So if you don't want to miss out on some new exciting tutorials, make sure you slap that like button and subscribe. So I'm just going to fill it now with a bin and bow meal because obviously I'm on creative. But if you want to watch me for a little bit longer, just putting this stuff around and then add in just that little extra touch, which is ding, 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 ding. Oh my goodness. Magnifique. Mwah. Here's a lovely house. I want to kiss you. Look at your lovely house. And then if you want to light it up in here, obviously get a torch or something. Get some torches, light it up. Get some little torches on here and stuff. Get that bad boy lit up, mate. Because creepers are going to come and blow you up. And that is bad, isn't it? Right, so there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day. There is a rustic, beautiful wooden house for you. Catch you later. Peace. I've got a red